Good coffee and questions, folks. Hope everybody's enjoying your morning. Nice, bright, sunshiny day over here. Going to be probably around 95 today. Um, okay, so let's get to today's question. This one is from Leroy, my buddy. All right, Leroy. Um, says, uh, hi, Eric. Just watched this morning's coffee and questions. Look forward to your few minutes every morning. I've always kind of wondered why you and your dad never use a flush trim or pattern router bits. One has a follower at, or has a bearing at the top and the other has a bearing at the bottom. Um, I realize you may have to do some preliminary cutting depending on your pattern, but they'll give you an exact copy of the pattern. Okay, so good question. Now, so you guys know the way we cut shapes is we use this on the router base that has a recess for it and this is our bit that goes down through this follows our pattern as that cuts out the material you guys know that's the way it goes well almost all of the patterns that you guys know of are um, like the live to ride shape, the banner patterns, you know, things like that. Uh, in fact, I've got this sitting over here, you know, cutting, cutting these shapes here. This we cut these with the router using that exact system, right? Well, you guys probably didn't realize this, or some of you probably didn't, but uh, we also, the other part of our business that we've done since the 70s is we make wooden letters and numbers. This is one of our patterns for wooden letters and numbers. This is the bit that uh, Leroy is talking about. Now this can have a bearing either at the top or you can have a bearing, well at the bottom I guess, or you can have a bearing here that would follow the pattern and then it would, uh, it would make a copy of it cutting your material with the, with the flutes there. The only problem with these and being as we originally, not we, dad being a machinist, he, he used this system like this so that this bit could plunge through the material as the, the pattern or as the, the, the um, template guide rode around the pattern. Well, with this type of bit, um, back when we developed it, they didn't have one of these that would plunge, which means you couldn't do an internal cut. So there was no plunge. I think they make them now. I haven't seen one, but Leroy says that they do. Um, but you have to have a bit that will plunge through in order to do that. Now, on our, on our patterns that we do now, on the side patterns, there's no internal cuts. But when you're cutting letters and numbers, you have internal cuts. So that's the reason that we use this system. Not that the other system wouldn't work, but the reason we use this system is because many times we have to plunge in order to get an internal cut. Not so much on um, the patterns there. So I guess to answer your question, Leroy, is because of other things that we've done with that system, making, i.e. making internal cuts. So. The other system, if you have a router table and you want to use one a system like this, then hey, uh, and that works for you, then you know that's all obviously an alternative. So I hope that explains it. Uh, I feel like I was kind of rambling there, but I hope that kind of explains why we use the system that we use. All right, guys, go make some sawdust and uh, have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.